Making Tax Digital, what is happening now? Hi, I'm Kimberly Chakra, Qualified Chartered Accountant, Property Investor and Entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. Making Tax Digital, what is happening in 2023? Well, we very recently had a budget in the UK, so that has opened up the question of what updates did we get in the budget? Now, on a positive, we've not had many, so that means that there are not too many changes. However, there are a few things that we just want to highlight at this point to keep you up to date on what is happening with Making Tax Digital for landlords. Now, as we know, all landlords going forward over certain gross rental income figures, so at the minute that's 50,000 to get started in 2026, we'll have to start doing making tax digital submissions, which are going to be on a quarterly basis. So that means after the 6th of April 2026, anyone with over 50,000 rental income, and that is the gross rental income, not the profits that you're making, you will have to start doing these quarterly submissions. Now, one of the things that they had said you would have to do would be something called an end of period submission. And now they have changed how this part is going to be done. So instead of having to do four quarterly submissions and then an end of period submission and then your tax return, which, as we can all tell, is making it more complicated rather than simplifying the whole process, they have changed this. So rather than an end of period submission, they're looking at doing a final declaration which potentially will be a much simpler process than having to do a full end of period submission. So again, this is a great simplification. So if you've got everything included, you'll be able to hopefully just tick the box at the end of the period, say, this is my final declaration for that tax year and all good. There has at this point been no change in the date. So at this point, unless we get a good new government in 2024 who changes things again, we are looking at April 2026 when this will be kicking off. And again, the limits that they have set are the 50,000 rental income, which again has not changed at this point. The next tier is expected to be 30,000 rental income. So if you're getting 30,000 rental income in your own name, then again, you are likely to be hit when we see this coming in in 2027, 2028, assuming that the dates don't change again in the coming years. Some other specific simplifications that they have mentioned at this point is one to do with joint property owners, where an individual or two individuals jointly own a property. And at this point in time, both of those individuals are going to have to separately declare that income. So you can't just declare it for the property. It is the individuals that are going to have to be declaring the income on their property, which the simplification is they are looking at ways to make this easier. However, at this point in time, the expectation is that both of the individuals will be submitting their, their information as individuals. Now, one of the things I will say is software is great at this and I am seeing quite a few different softwares out there that enable you to record the income once, but they'll do two different tax statements, one for each person. So you can record all the data in one place and then the tax statements will be shown separately based on the proportions that you have put in. So on that basis, software may be the answer to this to make this as simplified approach as possible. Another positive move forward that was mentioned in our budget and making tax digital update today is that they are now enabling individuals to have more than one agent. So if you do have a bookkeeper who's preparing your rental figures and supporting on that side of things, and you have a separate accountant who is then doing your tax return and finalizing your tax affairs, they will both be able to have access and they will both be able to submit things, which is a much better way of moving forward. Whereas before we were only allowed one agent, which didn't necessarily work based on what the expectation was for both parties. This is obviously a positive move forward for all landlords because it does give that flexibility. And obviously this is what we want as taxpayers and as individuals to enable us to make the right decisions to run our property businesses. There will be some new rules coming in if you are joining the pilot schemes and already doing Making Tax Digital, and you'll be moving on to the new penalty regime. 
But on the basis that everyone that is listening to this is going to be doing things correctly, I'm not going to dwell on that point today. So today we found that there's not really any major changes to what our expectation is. So you're still going to have to be doing those quarterly reports. The end of period submission is probably gone and we'll be doing a slightly simpler final declaration. We'll still need to do those tax returns to just confirm all the different positions with everything in one place. And then that will tick the box for that year for making tax digital and your income tax return position. The key takeaway that I'd probably say at this point is that we are going to need to be making use of software, whether this be Excel and or spreadsheets, should I say, and bridging software, or whether this is some sort of software like Xero or Hammock or QuickBooks or any of the different software providers that are out there that are providing a great solution for you as a landlord. I would recommend getting started early on any software that you are going to use so you're just ahead of the curve. The expectation is this will be coming for most landlords going forward. So it's not a negative getting used to the software so you can make sure that you are submitting the correct figures every single time by giving yourself a bit of practice time. As with anything new for all of us, it takes a bit of time to just get ourselves up to speed on what we need to do with different softwares. But hopefully now we we'll all tend to be used to some of these different options and it's just a matter of familiarising with the option that you choose. But speak to your accountant who will be able to help guide and support you in this process or check out the videos that are coming on the channel to do with all the different softwares that are available to you. For any more Making Tax Digital information, please do check out the other videos on the channel which dive into a lot more on what you actually need to do. Hopefully today you've discovered what changes, what is happening with Making Tax Digital at the moment. If you have any questions then please do leave a comment. Please like the video and do subscribe to the channel and let's make tax less taxing.